Hello again, so I'm back, part two. Um, moving on from Bruce Lee, uh, I have a kit bash. Yeah, it's a kit bash, really. Uh, it's, it's a kit bash at Indiana Jones. I have some Indiana Jones, some Hot Toys, uh, DX Parts, Sideshow. I don't know exactly which one does the DX version, though. Uh, but anyway, I have uh, some some DX parts in there. The pedestal, the the golden idol. This was actually a custom piece that I bought online. I was hoping I could use the full custom figure on its own, but when it arrived, like you know, most of the others that I've bought, all of the others actually customs that I've bought online, when it arrived, it just wasn't great, unfortunately. Um, which is sort of letting down the, the custom build uh, community if you like you know there are some good builders out there and some really good pieces that are worth the money that they're asking for them I know from experience that building even buying the parts to make the kit bash for some of these pieces you know they can be really expensive almost as much as buying the original hot toy in the first place you know um, Again, it's fun to do it, but uh, and, and the ones that are badly built, as I said, you know, they're not worth the money and they're sort of dragging down the, the value of the other ones, or at least making people a little wary about buying custom pieces. Uh, which, personally, I, I am as well now after buying the couple that I've bought, because they've not been great. But anyway, um, the head sculpt on this is really, really good. It's a custom head sculpt that I bought off eBay. Uh, it's the one with the, the top of the head missing, so the hat fits better. I actually think, it, you can shoot me if you want, but I actually think that this head sculpt looks better and more likeness than the DX version. Um, you can see the gloves, I've ordered the gloves, they need swapping out. I'll probably put some stains on the shirt. Um, yeah, the trousers are uh, scuffed up and stuff. The, yeah, the shirt looks a, a little aerial white for me so you know I'll put some sweat stains on there I mean, he's been calling for a two mole friggin day it's not gonna look like that I know, but again another working slow working progress pretty much done there I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this is looking now again it needs to be on its own so you can sort of get a bit of a view around him see what's going on uh, but that'll you know it's time for that okay so moving on I have a custom built a Ash Ash Williams from Evil Dead. Uh, the Evil Dead franchise uh, is missing the chainsaw that I'm actually building at the moment. This is uh, the third chainsaw that I've had. As I said, you know, if the part doesn't quite look right, I'll sort of get rid of it. This is mostly Hot Toys parts, Hot Toys trousers, uh, Hot Toys hand and gauntlet modified. I weathered the jeans, it, well, yeah, weathered the jeans and the the shoes a little bit there. Uh, the shirt, I can't remember where the shirt is from, but it's a really good quality shirt. Where it was before I hacked it to pieces. Um, yeah, the shotgun and the harness actually was. Let's keep going in out of focus. The uh, the harness was handmade. I started off with a little bit in the middle, but the rest of the straps were cut off, and then they wrapped round the back, round his arm. They, they go through the the shotgun holster. It's all removable. The little clasp on there. Yeah, it was a it was one step up from the from the Wolverine. So I'll go from a you know and the, and the kit bashes I had to uh, to making a custom one. I've only seen the head sculpt on one other ash. It says to me there's not many of them around, which is which is what I want. So that's my evil dead ash. Moving on. Uh, Hot Toys Hellboy. Uh, sorry, Sideshow Hellboy. This is a custom Sideshow Hellboy. This is another custom piece that I bought like this. Uh, all I've done is add the cigar. Um, yeah it was alright, the paint job on it though for some reason um, it's still tacky in places I don't know why that is, I don't know if it's because of the heat of where I am but 
uh, anyway yeah i'm gonna give it a few more days to sort of settle down but yeah it was, it was like it's been touched up but not sealed so anyway again not another great custom uh if i was gonna build one myself it's probably it's probably saved me a couple of quid and it doesn't actually look that bad i like the look of it the, the paint sort of a uh, mute problem the same an adult collector i don't i don't play war with these things I'm not a kid so they're just in the display case posed and left okay moving on Oy. So it's good I'm pretty, pretty much sat on the floor now going through these ones. Um, right, I've just mentioned more than once that I hate having more than one in a display if they're not meant to be together. Uh, here I've got three. So yeah, not very happy. <laughs> but as I, as I said, needs must at the moment. At the back I've got the Kane and Lynch. I think they're cool models. Cool figures, whatever they are. Um, yeah, I love the game. Didn't get much love uh, as a game. But the characters were pretty controversial, anti-hero. So you know, I, I got a good deal on the pair of them. So there they are. They're pretty cool. They're not as cool as my custom payday Dallas. Uh, yeah, again, I went one step up from the ash, even though it doesn't look like it. At the end of the day, it is a suit with a head. But the suit is a prestige suit, I think it was called. 50, 60 euros. Really expensive. The the mask is fully removable. It was sculpted by me. Um, I made a mould, uh, poured, uh, poured it in resin. Uh, it has all the straps on the back and the, the plate holding it all in place uh, yeah I did the custom made rubber gloves it is actually it's got um, layers and layers of PVA on there with, uh, with the, the, the the strap at the, the band at the end so it's not just painted it's not just a hand paint of blue it's got the satchel the, the sports bag full of cash the playing card, obviously the, when you hit infamous level on the game. I love the game as well. Play it every now and again on the PS4. So yeah, I'm really happy with this piece actually. And again, if I'd have bought this piece as a collectible, I'd be more than happy with it. And again, it does. It, it, I prefer it to the Kane and Lynch certainly. And it does hold its own against the others. Uh, I'll probably do some smaller videos about the ones that I've customised at some point. Uh, just going to a little bit more detail about them and what I actually did. Um, for now, I'll just sort of flying through, fly, flying through all these. Well, right next, next I've got a, a Caster Troy from Face Off. Again, it's just sort of a suit with a head. I bought all the extras. It's a kit bash really, I've got the, the pill box, the silver box, whatever it is, with some cash and glasses and cigarettes and stuff in there. Uh, it needs finishing, I'll probably throw a couple of joints in there as well. Um, the pill tube as well it should have, the medicine box, whatever it is. Uh, it does have the holster at the back, the twin holster for his, uh, for his twin gold guns. Uh, I would like to purchase the John Travolta face. That you can buy in a little resin bath, so to speak. And that'll just finish the diorama off as well. Next on is a piece that no one will recognise. Sorry, the lighting's not the best in here. I will do a closer video of this one. Uh, it's a piece that I just wanted to build. Basically, I wanted to. I got a few spare parts from the the other, the kits that I bought and the other, the other builds that I've done. So I wanted to put them together and build a, a character that. Uh, that I just see what I could do basically. He's like a, I don't know, post-apocalyptic cowboy vampire hunter. Uh, it's quite pricey actually by the time I've done uh, the rig, the two, the, the cowboy holster, fucking focus. The cowboy holster was uh, 50 euros I think. The other one, the other holster, the shoulder holster was another 30 euros. 
really expensive, it comes like 180 euros by the time I've done. Again, I'll go into uh, it's not fuck. I'll, go, I'll go into more detail and I'll probably do a single single review of him. Alright, uh, so that's it. Moving on. Again, got three in here. Um, so it's pretty annoying. The back is Freddy Krueger, Sideshow. Not a very good piece, if I'm honest. The body's not very good. It's really difficult to pose. Um, and the, the hat doesn't fit either. So not the best at all. Pretty much like this video. Because the focus is just in and out, in and out, in and out. Anyway, the, the next film is uh, Ryu from Street Fighter. I don't need to build the gloves, make the gloves for his hands to finish him off. Um, they'll be custom built. Uh, I tend to use heads if I can on pieces like this. that are good quality but they don't actually look like anyone. Um, this is from the Spetsnaz I believe. But yeah, I know he has a mask so you don't really see the face. So it was, it was a good choice I thought. Anyway that's him. In front here I've got the from the film 13 Ghosts. I am going to build another couple of the ghosts. I'm going to do the Juggernaut and I want to do the Jackal as well. It's going to be the most, the, the more difficult of the two. This is the Suicide Girl or the, the girl in the, the bath tub at the start of the film. It's all sliced up. Naked just walking around. And that's her. There literally isn't a lot to this piece. I've still got work to do, I still need to change the hand for a hand that's, that can grip. I've got the knife, uh, a kitchen knife on its way. I'm actually thinking about making a, a 1-6 bathtub for this. Putting some pipe work up and putting a, a shower ring around her. Again, she should be on her own and I think adding the extra bits to her will, will make her look like a, a pretty good quality piece. The scars are real scars, they're not just painted on there. It's cut into the flesh. Again, although there's nothing to it, it's not the cheapest collectible I own. So it's probably rocking in it. With the, I've got an extra head there that I need to modify as well. Um, it's not shouting. I think all in all, it's 140 euros, 150 euros maybe. Which again is expensive, but it was a good fun making them. So that's pretty much my collection um, I do apologize for any of the focusing issues as I said the ones that I have customized quite a bit uh, I'll probably do smaller videos for those as well just going a bit more in depth about uh, what I actually did um, I do have quite a few pieces on the way as well I have um, uh, full scale T800 exoskeleton head coming, that's going to look really cool next to the Terminator. Um, I have a legendary Predator bus on its way. Um, not quite sure where I'm going to put that at this minute, but I'll find somewhere. Uh, I've also got the Nazgul and Steed from Asmus Toys, that's on its way as well. Again, I ain't got a freaking clue where I'm going to put that. Um, what other pieces have I got? I've, I've got. Um, 3 0 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've got Leonardo coming. Uh, that should be here Sunday. My girlfriend's bringing it back with her from the UK. It's been delivered to a friend's house. Um, I've also got a, a few custom pieces. I've got the, uh, a custom Punisher that I'm going to be building, uh, Scarface, and I've just about finished. Uh, a custom build that I've been doing uh, it's taken me around two months and uh, around 50 hours work um, I'll be, I'll be uh, finishing that shortly and I'll be putting a video up about that as well and um, that will be for sale the one that I'm, that I'm building and it's quite an exciting piece actually so this was the second part of the video for some reason I'm having to do 15 minute videos uh, don't everyone jump down my throat, my, my account is verified, I'm just using a phone rather than the desktop version which I think is causing a bit of the problems, not being able to activate the videos but anyway I'll try and make a playlist so they'll just play one after the other 
but I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. I'm going to, as I said, I'll, I'll make some other videos soon. Thanks, bye.